Danny Flexen here for seconds out with the new undisputed female lightweight champion of the world. Katie Taylor, how does it feel? That sounds great, actually. Can you say that again? <laughs> Do you understand? And the new. Yeah. I'll do my Michael Buffer impression in a minute. <laughs> no, it feels great. Um, it was obviously a very, very tough fight last week. So to come through that as the undisputed champion, I, I'm so delighted. This is a dream come true for me. This is all I, I, I ever wanted as a, as a professional fighter. This is something that I, I work towards since I have turned pro. This is the pinnacle of the sport. So to be in this position is absolutely f uh, fantastic. When you were in the ring awaiting the announcement from the MC of the judges' decisions, was there any doubt in your mind or what was going through your head at that point? Well, I knew it was obviously a very, very close fight, but uh, when the final bell uh, rang, actually, uh, my coach and my manager, Brian, came, th came to me and said, don't worry, you, you've got it from, from the earlier rounds. So they, def they were definitely confident that, that I had won the fight from the earlier rounds. Um, but I knew it was a very, very close fight. Obviously, the, 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 um, different to, to my other pro fights, where I just knew that I, that I had won. This was a, um, this is a fight where I had to show a lot of heart. Where I was in the trenches, where I had to dig deep, and um, and to cut to come through a fight like that as the undisputed champion definitely makes it makes it more worthwhile. I think when you do come through a tough fight like that. How much of a step up was Delphine persona? Obviously, on paper she was anyway, but when you're actually in there with her, how much of a, a step up in class was it yeah i think it, it was a great step up in class um i don't think i performed my best but uh, to come through um a tough fight like that is the sign of a great champion when you don't perform your best i think um i found a way to win that night and, and that's that, that's all that matters but i knew right um coming into this fight that was going to be the toughest fight in my career and um i knew that that it was a fight where i was going to be in the trenches where i did have to show a lot of heart and um, I, I knew that uh, she was, she's obviously a great, great champion and a long reigning champion for, for many years. And I think people just never gave her the credit that she deserved really going into the fight. So I knew it, I knew it was going to be a tough, tough fight from the start. Did you find it difficult, especially in the middle rounds, to get your distance? She seemed to have a deceptively long reach. Yeah, yeah, she was very, very rangy and very long, but uh, no, I, I think uh, at times I did box very well in the fight, but I just got caught into a bit too much of a fight. It was an absolute war from from the first round to the tenth, a real high pay, a high pace fight, and um, a very, very exciting fight, but probably a bit too exciting for my <laughs> liking. Um, I have to definitely take instructions instructions a bit, a bit better from from a corner, but. Um, what a fight it was and even afterwards the, the comments that people were saying it was the best female fight I've ever seen and and even the rematch when it does happen is going to be even bigger so um, I'm, I'm definitely in a great position right now. You just mentioned the rematch, when are you looking at for that and also what have you learned from the first fight that you'll hope to make the rematch a bit easier on yourself? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think uh, when the rematch does happen um, I think I will win, win a lot more convincingly um, but um, yeah, what I've learned from the fight, just I, I, I knew going, going into the fight that she was going to be a very, very tough opponent. I just, um, as I said, I just didn't box my best on the night. But as I said, I, I, I found a way to win that night, and, and, that, and that's all that matters. But um, I'm not too sure when the rematch will happen, but it is inevitable that it is going to happen at some stage. And I, I can't wait for that fight, actually. And I think people are going to be very, very excited for, for that fight when it, when it does happen as well. And you're undisputed champion at lightweight. Can you go up in weight, down in weight? What are the other goals on the on the Katie Taylor target list? Yeah, I mean, there's definitely plenty of big fights out there for me. Um, the obvious one is Amanda Serrano. I think that fight's going to be uh, on the cards really soon. Uh, that's probably one of the biggest fights of boxing right now, not just in female boxing. It's a fight that people have talked about for a long time. Uh, it's going to be a huge fight. And then, um, obviously, if, if that happens, uh, there's there's a chance I can I could box the Celia Brackets as well, a, a light welterweight division. So imagine undisputed champion against undisputed champion. That's that's a history making fight right there. Um, so there's definitely plenty of big fights out there for me. But um, yeah, for the time being, I'm just gonna enjoy this victory, enjoy these belts, and and uh, I, I'm having a nice rest at the moment, which is which is cool as well. It's been such a busy six months for me, just uh, one fight after another after another. So. It's definitely nice to relax at home for a few weeks. Yeah. Pound for pound list seems to be a hot topic in boxing at the moment, or as hot as it has ever been. Who is the number one female pound for pound fighter in the world? Is it you or is it Clarissa Shields? Yeah. That's a question. That's a really tough question to answer. I think. Um, I think she'd say her like straight away. <laughs> you're, you're maybe a little bit more modest, but what, what, what do you think? Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, that's. Uh, I don't really know to be honest. Um, 
I think probably I need to perform a, a bit better for than, than my last fight to be considered the best pound for pound in the world. But um, I think um, it's it's a great uh, it's a great conversation to, to be involved in. That's for sure, and I think that's for other people to answer as well. I I, I don't feel comfortable answering uh, or saying that I'm the best uh, pound for pound female boxer in the world. That's for that's uh, for other people's um, opinions. I think, and um, but it is definitely great to be in that conversation. Well, isn't it great that it's a conversation at all? You know, 10, 15 years ago, female boxing's pound for pound number one wouldn't really have been considered. And now, look how far we've come, and, and you're a big part of that. Yeah, it's, it's amazing, really, how far women's boxing and professional boxing has come over the last three years, really, since I have turned pro. Uh, looking for at, at the debut and then looking where, where, where I'm at now and where women's boxing is at now is absolutely fantastic. And... Um, and really, it's only going to be on the way up as well. I've definitely turned pro at the right time. I think that's this is when people are actually interested in women's boxing, and um, yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic. What a journey it's been.